Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the box rod knuckle guards. So stay tuned. All right, so here's the uh, box rod knuckle guard. I'm gonna show you guys how to put this on. You can see it just simply goes over your fingers and the actual laces right here uh, go right through it. So this is gonna be the right hand as I put this on. So I basically just kind of slip that through. And then this end right here that has the little leather tag, so the box rod. Is actually labeled for the right hand so they are handed so this is going to be for the right obviously the left is for the left and then the, the traditional hand wrap i'm just using some 180 inch uh, mexican hand wraps that just loops through here and then you just kind of tighten it down one thing is you have to work if you try to go to the outside it kind of makes it awkward you can see that the laces kind of get a little bit of slack so when you're wrapping your hands you actually have to go to the inside of the hand when you wrap by inside i mean towards the thumb when you start the wrap. So I'm gonna start at the thumb, and from there, just basically wrap it like I traditionally would an extra hand wrap. The nice thing about this hand wrap, or should I say this knuckle guard, is it already gives you support between the, the fingers and all the little metal carpal bones. And then obviously you have that knuckle pad right here um, that uh, prevents you from having to, to basically pad up or use your hand wraps um, for extra protection. So. Now you can really focus on using your hand wraps on other parts of your hand for protection around your thumb, obviously. <laughs> Go back around the hand, using that kind of crisscrossing motion that you typically would to go over it. So now you're getting a lot more support at the midsection of your hand, around your thumb, and the lower part where your, your wrist hinges at. Uh, where before, typically, if you just use your traditional hand wraps without the extra padding or going and having to go through the knuckles, um, you're gonna have less amount of wrap to use down here. So let's go around the thumb again, around the hand. I'm just gonna crisscross over one more time. Go back down and then just finish off around my wrist. And then from there, just open up the palm like you typically would to give yourself space to make a fist. Just kind of get everything adjusted. So you can see right there, I mean, you probably have, let's say, a little over an inch of padding over your knuckles. Everything is locked in. You got that crisscrossing motion. Your fingers are locked in nicely. You have that separation and it's pretty well padded. So there you have it, it's the, the box raw knuckle guard. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Box Raw Knuckle Guards. These come as a pair from Box Raw for $39. They have two different sizes, small, medium, and large, extra large, just depending on the width of your palm. So if you go on their website, you could take a measurement between the two sides of your hand. And from there, whatever your measurements are, you just look at the diagram to see which one is the correct size for you. So obviously it comes as a pair. The other thing that it comes with is it comes with this really nice carrying case that also doubles up as a uh, washing machine bag. So it's made out of this nice canvas material, has a box raw logo, the mesh, as well as box raw knuckle guard right there. Has a drawstring up top with a compression clip. That way you can throw your knuckle guards and your hand wraps in there. And once they start getting pretty funky, throw them to your washing machine, get them cleaned, and not have to worry about your hand wraps and your knuckle guards getting tangled with the rest of your laundry. So that's really a nice extra touch that they have there. Uh, now I'm gonna actually show you guys the construction of the knuckle guards and how to wrap your hands with them. With that being said, before I do that, I want you guys to know that there is a right-handed and a left-handed knuckle guard. So this one is for the right, obviously it says R right there. And this one is for the left that says L. Uh, so there is a right and a left. Now, one thing I wanted to show you before we start wrapping our hands is the knuckle guard itself. The actual padding is made of a Japanese exported high-density foam padding that's about a one inch in one inch in thickness, uh, has a medium density to it. Feels kind of gel-like if you press down on it. It doesn't feel like a foam, more like a gel, but it's definitely not a gel because it's not heavy like gel. You have one inch of padding right there. The inside uses kind of this polyester microfiber 
uh, satin liner right there. That's really nice and comfortable against your knuckles. The exterior uses this mesh as well, as well as your standard cotton laces. The back of the uh, knuckle guard uses this leather tab that you can pull on. And the whole premise of this is once you have your hands through here, you can kind of pull down on that and it kind of ratchets your knuckles down and, and makes everything nice and supportive. And then from there at the very end, you actually use the thumb portion of your standard 180 to 200, uh, 200 inch uh, Mexican ham wraps. And you put the thumb portion that loops through and you just kind of loop it right through here and pull it through like a slip knot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put these on. I'll show you guys how this works. This is gonna be the left-handed guard. So I'm gonna put it on my left hand. All you have to simply do is slide your knuckles through the laces, make sure they're nicely lined up. Make sure that your hand is really comfortable. So one thing you wanna keep in mind is once you have your hands all wrapped up, everything's gonna be really snug and tight. And you wanna make sure that you're constantly opening and closing your hand, creating a fist during the process of wrapping your hands. That way you don't create any discomfort or you feel like the hand wraps are too tight. So you can see that the actual laces go in between my fingers like they should. That piece right here is almost like a little extra grip bar that when you make a fist, you can grip down on it. And then when you pull back on this tab, that's what really sinks the laces down into your knuckles. What that also does is it pulls on this knuckle pad and positions it over your knuckles. So once you slide your hand into your glove, so say your glove is sliding on, the glove is also gonna be kind of pushing on this knuckle guard, especially gloves that are a little bit tighter, a little bit more compact. There might be some discomfort at first because it's, you're not used to having this much extra um, volume in the glove compartment. So uh, it's really nice that you have that tap. Now, the reason that they're handed, I believe, watching their videos, when they wrap their hands in the box route video on the website, you notice that they recommend going inwards towards your thumb when you start your wrap. Traditionally, I've, I've always been taught to go out, outwards, meaning going away from you. If your hand is facing you with your thumb inwards, to wrap outside. And the reason I, I've been taught that way is when you're wrapping your hand that way, when you wrap your thumb, you're pulling your thumb in towards your hand. So the whole, the whole premise behind that is to protect your thumb. And that's why I've always been showed to go to the outside. But you can see once you go to the outside that this pinky portion of the lace kind of gets cocked a little bit and you can see there's a little bit of extra slack. So what I'm thinking of doing, which is obviously kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a left and a right handed wrap, is I'm gonna use a left on my right. Since I like to go towards the outside, instead of going inside, I'm gonna actually switch it. So now I'm actually using the left knuckle guard for my right hand. The knuckle, the knuckle guard portion is identical, regardless of the hands, obviously. But the way I wrap it now, since I can go to the outside, I'm not gonna to have to worry about that extra slack. Now you can see that it's a lot better than it was on my left hand. I'm gonna to start to the outside like I'm used to. So I'm gonna start wrapping my hand like I normally would. Again, you can use any style of hand wrap that you're used to using. 180, 200 inch hand wraps. And start wrapping my hand. I'm gonna go on the, on the back side, go over the knuckles. Kind of just do that crisscrossing motion. And what is great about this knuckle guard is that you don't have to use extra hand wrap to create a pad for your knuckle or to go in between your fingers because that's already there from the knuckle guard. So obviously the fingers have that support that you're looking for between uh, your fingers and the little metal carpal bones and you already have a one inch pad that's already there. So you have more of your hand wrap that you can dedicate to actually supporting the rest of your hand, your thumb, the back of the hand and all the little bones that you typically need that extra support with when you're wrapping your hand. So now I'm just wrapping it like, like I normally would, and I have a lot more wrap to work with because of that knuckle guard. It affords me to do that. So just wrapping my hands like I typically would. I'm gonna go a little bit lower today to really give my wrist some extra support. Go back around again, crisscross over, just finish up at the wrist. So and finish up right there. So that's nicely locked in. The thumb feels great. I'm gonna open up the palm. Cut away that way. I can make an excellent fist. And there you have it. It feels really nice. I mean, the, the laces feel nicely pulled through on each one of my fingers. I have full flexibility and mobility of my hand. I can make a really nice tight fist. 
and that knuckle guard is really nice. It gives you an extra layer of padding. Now I've used this for a couple of days now. You guys saw earlier in the video, uh, I was using this when I was training with my coach. I've used this while I'm hitting my, my aqua bag here with my gloves. One thing to keep in mind when you're using these is that you're gonna need a little bit of extra extra room. You have a, you need to have a glove that's, I wouldn't say roomier, but if, if you don't wanna feel like your hand is getting kind of choked out, one, you're gonna have to either break your glove in. So if you have a pair of gloves that you're, you're insisting on using or it's your only pair um, and they're more compact, you're definitely gonna feel some tightness when you slide your hand in here, primarily because you have more wrap that you're using than you normally would in areas that you would have dedicated to in between your fingers and over your knuckles. So keep that in mind because of that, it might not look like it from the naked eye, but there's a lot more uh, fabric around your hand in general, around your wrist, on the back of your hand, your palm, your knuckle. So the gloves that you're used to using, you might just be used to using regular hand wraps with no knuckle guard and it might slide in perfectly fine. But because of this, you'll notice that, oh man, this feels really tight when I slide my hand in here. So I have these phantom boxing gloves right here, these flash gloves, and these are generally pretty, pretty loose and, uh, you know, I would say open feeling gloves, pretty roomy. Um, and, but they definitely take some time to break in because I'm, I'm going over my thumb a little extra. Typically this area here is not as tight, but it is a little bit more snug now. The area over my knuckles, especially the back of the hand, you know, the pads, that knuckle pad sits right about here. So when you turn your knuckles over and that foam compresses on the gloves, it makes contact with that knuckle pad. Just generally speaking, the back of my hand feels a lot more snug. So you're gonna have to wait for this to really break in your gloves. There might be a little bit of discomfort at first, but just keep at it and the gloves will eventually kind of take shape to the extra amount of padding from that knuckle guard as well as the extra wrap from your hand wraps that is making up for all the areas that typically wouldn't have that extra thickness from your wrap. So do keep that in mind. If you have maybe a little bit roomier gloves, it'll probably be better fitting for you and you won't feel that discomfort. If you do have snugger, gloves, then you probably will feel some tightness. Um, I wouldn't get discouraged by that. You can either get like a couple of socks and jam them into your glove, maybe a, an old t-shirt or two and push them in there to really break your gloves open. That way, once you put your hand, your hand wrap in there with your knuckle guard, it feels a little bit more comfortable um, and just feels better. Now, as far as the performance of this knuckle guard, this definitely deadens a lot of the shock that you feel when you land your shot. So for those of you that are looking for something that you, maybe you have a, a sore knuckle or hand injury that you're trying to work through and you, you don't wanna just stop boxing completely and you still wanna stay active, this does a really great job of absorbing the shock. Um, it does take away from some of the feedback of, of work, work, you know, some gloves that maybe have softer padding, but that, <coughs> excuse me, that might not necessarily be a bad thing. If you have some Gloves like the Everlast Elites, the Everlast MX gloves, um, I believe the the punch, uh, the uh, combat corner puncher style fight gloves. Those gloves that are super soft that just have horse hair. To me, these are perfect for those because you're getting kind of that same pop out of those gloves because of the type of the type of foam and horse hair they use in them. But you're not having to worry about injuring your hand because now you have that extra layer of foam over your knuckles, and the fact that it has that that pull system on it, almost like a ratcheting type system that pulls uh, the laces through your knuckles. That's, that to me is an added benefit uh, in that. So you can use your existing hand wraps with this knuckle guard and for $39, $39 you're not breaking the bank. So to me, I like these better than the winning, just for the simple fact, like the winning NG2. Um, the Skulltex, that's, a, that's kind of a, a, an even, I'll have to do a comparison video because to me, the Skulltex uses gel padding. To me, that's different. I feel like the, the gel padding is probably the most absorbent as far as if you're looking just to blunt all your shots out with no energy transfer between your knuckles and whatever you're hitting, then gel pads are the way to go. But with that being said, I think for $39, the fact that you're getting the laces as well and you have that ratcheting system that comes with that bag that's included, you can put in your washing machine, the little details that they include uh, to me, definitely makes it worth it. Um, and I believe they also do free shipping, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if, I, if I can remember, I think I, I got free shipping with this order. Uh, but definitely th for $39, a really nice knuckle guard. 
uh, to include your hand wraps. You don't have to buy anything in, a, in addition to the knuckle guards or your hand wraps. You can use whatever hand wraps you already have laying around at home. It'll work perfectly fine with this and it affords you to use a lot more wrap for the other parts of your hands that you typically wouldn't because you didn't have a knuckle guard to supplement your knuckles and in between your fingers. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these box rod knuckle guards. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.